Hey, it's Victor from Social Firestarter. Every now and then we come across some sort of issue or uh, problem with verification on the GMB platform. And there's all sorts of different reasons why you could have some sort of an issue that you can't actually fix on your own. Uh, so these issues are uh, amongst you know getting your business verified. There's also issues with pushing out updates. Uh, sometimes I've seen people uh, where they try to update their phone number on their listing and it just keeps getting reverted back. Um, also, if you have duplicate listings, it requires a Google rep to go ahead and merge them. Um, there's all sorts of different reasons that you might basically run into like a hurdle or run into something that's going to prevent you from getting your listing live. So regardless of the uh, of this issue that you need to elevate, you're gonna want to learn how to reach out to Google My Business Support. So that's what, that's what I'm gonna show you how to do in this video. It's super simple now in 2021. Uh, hopefully it stays this way. And definitely last year there were major, major issues trying to get a hold of somebody uh, from within the Google GMB, uh, from the, within the GMB support team they have a very massive outsourced team that handles all of these requests. Um, so it does take a lot of patience, but thankfully things are much smoother uh, this year and uh, hopefully we don't run into issues like we did last year again. But um, you, know, you wanna go over to the correct page if you don't already know where that is. Just Google search for this. Uh, Google My Business Support It's gonna be the first one. Um, it's support.google.com slash business will take you to the right place. Um, so if you've ever actually gotten a reply from a rep, a lot of times they just point you to this page um, and tell you good luck. Um, so basically there's one thing you don't want to do on this page. You don't want to simply send out an email to a rep. You're probably not going to get a reply to those. Um, maybe if you provide a whole lot of documentation and really provide a thorough explanation on your uh, on your contact form and then maybe eventually somebody reaches out but honestly it's been uh, like I've heard of people where it takes months if they even ever reply to the email so let's just completely avoid that I've had terrible terrible luck trying to use the the standard email uh, to get in contact with these guys so instead, here's what you're gonna do. Now, this seems a little funny, uh, but there are different there are different issues that you can have. All right, there we go. So there's all sorts of different issues that you can have, but depending on what you provide here on this website is going to actually decide which options it provides to you to come into contact with the Google rep. So, um, you know, just type something random, go to contact us, right? And then takes you to this page. Um, so if you want, you could save this exact page here. It looks like it would be this, slash business, slash get help, uh, takes you to this. This is like the contact form. Now, again, there's some barriers here. So just type in something random because, okay, just for an example, let's say you want to verify your business, right? If you come in here, and directly ask for it, I really don't think it's going to, like for example, very common issue here, postcard didn't arrive. And then it tries to point you to a bunch of articles. If you go through the articles, you'll realize that there is no solution on there. And there we go, email. Okay, so that's not gonna solve anything. So don't even, you know, And let's just start clicking through random things because what we're trying to get is more options than just the email. Now, what's even weirder is that depending on the time and the day of the week, I believe this actually switches up. So I, I don't know how they're handling this internally, but again, we're just going to, uh, we're gonna try something else. I've been having some luck with the complaint about customer service. Let's see if it will give it to me. Yup, there we go, boom. So now we have Look at that, you can literally request a call and in my experience, it takes about two minutes for them to call you back, it's crazy. Um, so you can request a call and you can chat and you can email, we're not gonna email, 
but you can chat now check it out there is a bit of a really long wait time so you know we will just ignore that one check it out you can request a phone call finally you can actually speak to somebody within the google my business team um so this for a lot of people this might solve it this this might solve their problem for a lot of them this might just be the start but at least you're finally in contact with the google rep and while on the phone make sure that they open a ticket for you once they open the ticket that's when they actually uh, dedicate some time towards getting it fixed but if you're not doing you know if you can't even get here you're going to have you know you're just not going to hear from those google reps until you do this so if the if you didn't get these if these didn't pop up try different options just keep messing around try different issues um, eventually something's gonna something's gonna provide that so that's how i've been doing it let me know what you think uh, let me know if you end up solving some very big problems uh, using this method. It's you know it, it's very awkward that they don't actually just straight up let you contact them. But I guess this is just how they have to do it at a scale. That will be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see everyone on the next one.